Yeah, I mean, I was, I was a dark and lonely person. I was so lost, so hurt. After my second marriage, I turned to alcohol to try to help me through my tough times. Spent my 40th birthday alone. I was sitting on my, sitting on my couch, wondering why could I be so alone after all this time of what I'd done to, to try to be successful in life, but still kept failing. I was sleeping on my couch because I was scared to sleep in my bed alone because I've never lived in a house by myself. And the Lord came to me and he told me, if, if you come to me, you'll never be alone. And from that night forward, I started thinking and, then, and it, the next day I kept running over and over in my head. Build a relationship with me and come to me and you'll never be alone. And that's the day that changed my life. Our Heavenly Father is here for us and, and He's given His Son up for death on the cross for all of our sins to show us who He is. I was a dark and lonely person. I was so lost, so hurt, deep. But I'm thankful that the Lord found me and I accepted Him because if He could do it for me, He could do it for anybody. I don't know where I'd be, but I know where I'm going now. That's it. I used to walk into church feeling like I was an outcast and I was scared to come. But what I realized is Shepherd's Group coming to church, listening to the, to the Word and feeling the love, you can turn to all the vices you have in your life and it's gonna make it worse. It's gonna drive you deeper and darker into your selfishness, into a very lonely, lonely, horrible place in your life. But once you can seek people that are godly people that will show you love, hold you accountable, and have a support group here on earth that, that you know that, that loves you, can carry you and pull you out of that dark pit and give you people that show you hope, please reach out to those people. It, it, will, it will change your life. It did mine. I'm excited to be baptized. I'm excited to follow Jesus. Hey, church family, I'm excited to present to you this morning our dear brother in the Lord, John Moss. And it's been a pleasure seeing his story, his journey, how God has gripped his heart. And he is our brother. He is someone who has decided to turn from his sin and put his trust in Christ. And I want him to affirm that this morning before all of us as family in Christ and to those who are not in Christ, listen to John's story, listen to his proclamation and see that you have no good in yourself. There is only one who is good, Jesus Christ. So John, I want to ask you this morning before your family, brother, family, have you turned from your sin? Have you come to the end of yourself and seen there is no good in yourself? but that you need the good of another. You need the goodness of Jesus Christ, your Savior, who lived for you, who died for you, and who rose again. Have you put your trust in Jesus Christ? Absolutely, yes. Amen. And brother, before your family, before all who are watching today, I want you to just let them know following Christ is a, is a hard journey. It's, it's tough to be going against the world. It's tough to be going against the darkness, the deception that's all around us. But Jesus Christ is your Savior, and He promised that He's with you until the end of the age. And heaven is not just a concept for tomorrow. Eternal life is not just a concept for tomorrow. It's something that we deeply enjoy today. So will you follow after Jesus all the days of your life? Yes, I will. Amen. Well, brother, based on your profession of faith, it is my absolute joy to baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, dead to life, and dead to yourself, and raised to new life. Amen. Brother, look at your family. This is your family.